Hey y'all, it's uh, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon now, actually four fifteen. Um, I started this earlier today. This is the uh, blueberry compote. Um, if you see it, um, a little just a little recap. Um, I started out earlier today. Uh, a little bit of water, um, some blueberries. Uh, a touch of vanilla, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, and 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 then some sugar. Boil that down. Took the masher, mash it out. Busted up all the blueberries that hadn't you know already burst from you know the light boil, and then turned the heat down. Let them simmer for quite a while. Then I filled it back up with blueberries again, and you see what I end up with. That's about. It's about half this, maybe a little over half um, of that uh, pot um, full, and it's and it's thickened up. Show you the consistency here. Show you the consistency. It's 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 like it's not completely cool. It, I let it, I shut it off and let it cool down. It thickens up as it cools off, um, but you definitely want to taste test it. Um, I did earlier, um, like an hour ago, I guess. I took a little taste and it was tasted pretty doggone good. But I'm going to go ahead and take a final taste before I put it up in jars. Because, you know, I'm going to be sharing this with my friends. Um, anyway, I'll take it to work. Anyway, um, I'm going to take a taste. And that's good. It's not too sweet. But it's not sour. It's a little bit tart, just not much. But it just tastes great. Now, all I do is I've got these jars. I buy these. Uh, and I'll show you. Hold on. I buy this. It's called uh, Bonnie Maman. M A M A N uh, preserves and. It comes in several different, um, you know, apricot, peach, um, blueberry, boysenberry. I mean, and they are really good. I mean, they're really good. I, you know, I don't know. It's like three ninety nine for the jar, or two ninety nine. Sometimes you get them on sale, whatever. Um, nuggets, uh, Safeway, but they're really good. I mean, obviously, I like mine better, but these are really good. I keep uh, three, four jars with up in, in the refrigerator all times, but I keep the jars and use them to put this stuff in. It's not the only thing I make. Sometimes, also, I'll like a couple times I've I've made this. I've also taken um, and not an orange, but the, uh, an orange peel. Just taking a, a slice off an orange, peel the peel off, and throwing the peel in there. A couple peels in there. Um, while it was simmering, and uh, that adds a little bit of a little bit of orange note to it too, which is pretty good. But I just jar it up like this, and it's still warm. It has, it's not cool yet. I always do it when it's still a little warm. paper towel and kind of wipe the edges off so there's nothing underneath the cap but boom put 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 the lid on it pop it in the refrigerator you know I, I usually get about I usually get about two jars out of this when I make it in this little bitty pot That's all it takes you get about two like I said I'm gonna be making a uh, Blueberry cream cheese French toast. And uh, I'll make a video about that later. If you ever have any questions on, you know, France measurements, time, temp, you know, for any of the stuff that I cook, I mean, I'll, I'll post videos. I cook every weekend. I don't really cook during the week too much. I do all my cooking on the weekend. You know, and then I, I literally don't have to do hardly any cooking, it, you know, during the week. Clean that edge off of there. And there you go. 
pop them in the refrigerator. Like I said, mm, don't let that go to waste. Um, it'll last about two weeks. Um, I actually tested that theory out. I had a bit, bit, a little bit in it left in a jar and uh, actually kind of forgot about it. And uh, it was in the refrigerator, I think it was uh, about, about three days past two weeks, so about 17 days. And I saw it in the refrigerator, and I grabbed it out, and, and I could tell it was going it was going bad. So I know it'll I know they'll last for about two weeks in there. And like I said, there's no preservatives, there's no pectin, there's nothing. It's just literally blueberries, water, a little bit of water, um, sugar, just a touch of vanilla, and just to you know, like like I don't know. I think it's probably a couple teaspoons of of, of real lemon juice. And that's it. That's all that's in there. Um, and it's it's delicious. I mean, I'm telling you, you put it on pancakes, uh, like I put it on the strawberry, I mean, the blueberry cream cheese French toast. You can just spread it on toast. Hell, um, I've talked to people who said they that, that I gave it to, took it home, and they said they put it on ice cream. And I thought, well, hell yeah, it probably would taste pretty good on ice cream. Um, but anyway, you can put it on anything you put regular jam or jelly or syrup on. And it's delicious to all get out. So if you uh, if you're interested, if you want to know more about it, it, or if you want to know more about anything that I cook, um, like I said, I'm gonna try. To, I'll try to be posting videos up. I don't know, probably once a week. You know, I'll try. Um, I, I can't really make videos during the week because you know I'm a I'm an instructor, teacher, whatever you want to call it. Um, so my weeks are pretty 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 used up but my weekends is when I uh, cook and, and make and I'll make videos so I hopefully I make another video or two next weekend until then low and slow cooking with Mark this is uh you know I just like cook good grub stuff I like to eat stuff my friends like to eat my wife can't forget her I'd be nothing without my wife I love her love you sweetheart um, anyway I'll uh, talk to y'all later.